Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this star pocket for your baby. Uh, you can make it for a girl or a boy. It's very cozy and warming. Uh, but first I want to remind you if you haven't subscribed before to my channel, subscribe and like this video and share with your loved ones to make this pattern as well. So first I will show you the type of yarn I'm using. It's 100% acrylic. It's called Alize Shekerim. And I'm going to use two balls of yarn together to make the yarn thicker and to use a bigger hook so I get uh, a thicker uh, pocket or blanket. And I'm using a 7 millimeter crochet hook and I need a pair of scissors and let's start together with this pattern it's very easy and simple to do so first I'm going to start with my magic knot as you see I'm joining the both of yarns or both of threads together and I'm going to make my knot and I will start by chaining four forming a ring by inserting my hook in the first chain and making a ring a slip stitch and then it forms a ring so here I'm just going to insert my hook in the first chain as I told you slip stitch and now I'm going to chain one yarn over and make two double crochets in the ring so two double crochets will be the first section or the first petal of the star we're making next I'm going to chain one and again I'm going to yarn over and make two double crochets in the ring I will repeat this step five times. I should have five or five sections or <laughs> ten uh, double crochets and five chains in between. These five sections are the five petals of the star. So the one chain between each two double crochets will guide us to uh, form the petals of the star and after I finish the five sections or the ten double crochets I'm going to chain one the fifth chain and insert my hook inside the first double crochet and make a slip stitch to join the row together and now we're done with row number one and I'm going to start with row number two chain one yarn over in the first double crochet make two double crochets now we're going to increase the number of stitches and we will work in both double crochets two double crochets that means our two double crochets will become four so here is my fourth double crochet and next I'm going to repeat one chain over this one chain or parallel to the previous one chain and here yarn over and again make two double crochets in both double crochets from previous row and continue working till you get 20 double crochets with five chains between each four double crochets and here we doubled the number of our double crochets but next row won't be the same I will show you how to continue increasing each row very easily so I'm going to finish this row and come back to show you how to continue working on your increases And here I finished I'm going to chain the last chain which is the fifth chain 
and insert my hook at the top of the first double crochet and make a slip stitch and we are done with row number two look how it looks like so now let's start with row number three and chain one yarn over in the first double crochet make two double crochets so we've increased one double crochet at the side next in the next two double crochets work one double crochet in each now we need only to increase at the edges or the sides of the petal so two double crochets in the middle one in each and at the end of this petal make two double crochets so we increase the number we had four stitches now we have six stitches in each petal chain one again so we are not increasing the chains we just chain one each row to make a uh, separate or to separate between each petal again i made two double crochets in the first stitch and in the last stitch as well two double crochets here I have increased at the sides of this petal again chain one and continue working in the same way using the same method of increasing and that's how we're going to work our rows here I finished the last petal and I'm going to chain one and insert my hook as usual in the first double crochet and slip stitch to finish our row as you can see I have like a triangle shaped petals I'm increasing each row two in each petal so each row I'm going to increase 10 double crochets the first row was 10 the second is 20 the third is 30 and and here I'm showing you a piece I finished working on I've increased one double crochet at each side of each petal and continue working until you reach half the size of the blanket or the pocket you want so the the rule is is to measure the height of the baby and divide this number by two and then add 10 percent of the number for example if my baby is 60 centimeters tall so the half is 30 and at 10 percent to this 30 it will become 33 centimeters so my circle or my uh, first piece will be uh, of a diameter of 33 centimeters so as i told you measure your baby's height and work accordingly according to the height of your baby so here i will show you how it will end up look so finish this piece and next you're going to work on your petals separately so as you can see I've made four petals and I left the fifth one to show you how I will do it and you can repeat the steps on each side so here I've made 26 double crochets my final number of double crochets in each petal is 26 I'm going now to show you how to decrease to get the uh, pointy petal or pointy star so I'm going to take my yarn as before two threads together and make my magic knot and insert my hook at the top of the first double crochet like this and insert this knot inside my double crochet and chain one so now we will make one row 26 double crochets we won't increase so our first row will be the same number of stitches as the previous row we're just making double crochets like this without any increases so when you finish these 26 or uh, how much you've reached now we're going to start to decrease our work and here 
I'm going to flip my work now we're going to work back and forth and we're going to decrease one as we did before we increased one at each side so now we're going to decrease one at each side each row we will decrease one by one that means two in total so here how we're going to decrease chain one yarn over and insert your hook in the first double crochet pull through one yarn and pull through two loops leave two loops on your hook and again yarn over insert your hook in the second double crochet pull the yarn and pull through two loops leave three loops around your hook and then pull through three loops together and that's how we've increased two and they become one now work 22 double crochets without any increases when you reach the last two double crochets we're going to repeat the decrease as we did now so i'm going to make these two or 22 double crochets i'm sorry and i'm going to come back to show you the decrease at the other end here i finished the 22 double crochets and again i'm going to decrease as i did before yarn over insert your hook in the first double crochet pull through two loops leave two loops on the hook yarn over again and insert your hook in the last double crochet pull through two leave three on the hook and pull through these three loops together now we've increased or i'm sorry decreased two double crochets in this row one at each side again flip your work and repeat these steps decrease one at this side and one at the other side and repeat your decreases each row as we did before until you reach the number of two stitches you'll have two stitches at the end we're going to join these two stitches together to form our pointy petal so I'm going to finish my decreases and I'm going to come back to show you how to make this pointy side of the star and now I finished the decreases as I told you I have two stitches left to decrease into one so I will flip my work again and I'm going to do, join these two stitches together as before I will chain one and make the same step I used to decrease my stitches and when you pull the yarn through the three left loops on your hook you will get this pointy shape and cut your yarn and here is your petals finished So here I will show you how to work your pieces. You will make one piece with five petals and you will make another piece with only three petals. The two other sides will be one for the hand and one for the head. So we will join the work and we will make these pieces for the head and the other hand, the right hand. Uh, separately and then we're going to join the work together we make this step so we have a flexible blanket to put our baby inside and here how we're going to make the head and the hand so work on these two pieces one with five petals one with three and then come back to make together the other hand and the head now I'm going to show you how to make the hand side so with the same yarn make a magic knot and remember when we reached 26 double crochets now we're going to make 26 chains so the piece we're going to make is the same as the petals we had so here I'm just going to chain 26 and make one row all double crochets 26 double crochets in total so chain an additional chain and yarn over 
and in the second chain insert your hook and make one double crochet and again make the other double crochets until you reach your other end you should have 26 double crochets or as much as you reached with your own piece so here I finished my row number one and I'm going to decrease as I did just now I will decrease one on each side using the same method we've used before so chain one and yarn over in the first stitch insert your hook and pull through two loops leave two loops around the hook again yarn over in the second stitch pull through two leave three around the, your hook and pull through the three repeat your steps as we did before and you will get a triangle shaped piece so I will show you how it will look like it's very easy it's the same work we did as before like this one and this is the final result as I told you you will get a triangular shape with the same number of rows plus one so if you have worked 40 rows then your triangular piece will be 15 rows and now we're going to make the head piece and this piece will be different I'm going to make my magic knot and make 26 chains as before and here we're going to start doing the same steps chain an additional chain and yarn over start working in the second chain make 26 double crochets but in this piece we're going to make five rows without decreasing any stitch so we have 26 stitches in our first five rows and then we're going to start decreasing and our decreases will be different this time because we have five rows without decreases so make five rows and come back to show you how we were going to continue decreasing so now I finished working and made five rows with 26 double crochets and now I will start to decrease I will flip my work and start decreasing now in the first row I will decrease only one at each side so I will repeat the decreases as before here I will decrease one at the side and one at the other side the next rows or the next four rows I will decrease two by two so it's very easy just finish working on this row and I will show you how to decrease in the next row here I finished decreasing one by one so flip your work again and start decreasing here I'm going to decrease two stitches and using the same th method I will decrease two stitches instead of one so here I will make the same steps three times and I will have four loops around my hook and I'm going to pull through the four loops together next work until you reach the last three stitches and repeat your decreases two by two make four rows or increasing two by two until you reach the same number of stitches with the same number of rows so this is your reference when you get to the row where you have the same number of stitches as your triangular shape piece you will stop decreasing two by two and continue decreasing one by one so and you will have the same number of rows and the same number of stitches so finish this piece and the piece will look like this here you can see how we're going to place the hand part the right hand part and the head part now we're going to join all the parts together before we need to make the bottom part so here in this piece where we left this part without 
completing the puzzle here at the left side I'm going to make two additional rows so that uh, you can button the blanket so here I'm going to take my yarn make a magic knot and insert this yarn inside the first stitch of this left side I'm going to chain one and then this row will be all treble crochets so yarn over twice and make 26 treble crochets these treble crochets will be my button holes you can make double crochets instead of treble crochets if you have small buttons you can check out the buttons before starting this row and here I finished the 26 treble crochets and next I'm going to make one row all double crochets without increasing nor decreasing so here I flip the work chain one and 26 double crochets and finish your work this is the last step we're going to work on before joining the parts together each part we did each piece we did so just finish this row and come back to check out how we're going to join the pieces together So now I'm going to take the bigger piece, the one we made 5 petals in and I'm going to place the front side at the bottom here is my front side, my back side so you have to flip your work downside to your, to your side and put the first piece which is the head piece front side up and place it on the first petal I'm going to use some pins to pin the work together before starting joining so here what I'm going to do I'm going to put the first row of the headpiece over the first row of the first petal and I'm going to pin it together next I'm going to pin the other end the pointy end together and again I'm going to pin the middle side the one in the middle so here I've skipped five rows and the sixth row I'm going to count and pin it with the back side you can skip this part because if you know how to join any crochet piece together without pinning them together it's okay you can do so without the pinning but I prefer pinning because it eases up things so then pin the other side using the same method and now we're going to place the hand side front side upwards and do the same pinning process the first row with the first row the pointy side with the pointy side you can continue pinning all the pieces together as I showed you or you can pin one piece at a time like this so next I'm going to show you how to start joining the pieces together now I will bring my yarn I will make a magic knot and insert the knot in the first row of both sides of the same piece right here I'm going to insert it in both pieces in the first row 
and we're going to work perpendicularly around the rows so around each row we're going to make two single crochets first I'm going to chain one insert my hook in the same place and make a single crochet again in the same row or around the same row I'm going to make another single crochet and I will repeat the steps and make two single crochets around each row from both sides so you should check that your hook is inserted in both pieces in the same row so continue working your single crochets until you reach the pointy part right here so when I reach the pointy part I'm going to come back to show you how to make it look pointier so here I finished making the first side joining them together and I've reached the last row and here I'm going to insert my hook and make a single crochet and again after making my first single crochet I will insert my hook at the top of the row in the angle and make another single crochet and here I'm going to chain one and in the same place I'm going to make another single crochet so it's like we're making a corner if you worked in crochet for a long time you know this so here I will make another single crochet so this row will be single crochet single crochet one chain single crochet single crochet and I will rotate my work to work on the other side and again repeat the steps by making two single crochets around each row from both sides and continue working until you finish the first petal then go and start with another petal using the same yarn without disconnecting the yarn or uh, cutting it off so uh, keep working simply using this method until you finish joining all the parts together as I've shown you before and the piece will look something like this all you need to do next is to sew in the loose ends of the threads and sew in the buttons choose the buttons you like and I'm going to leave you a link in the description box to show you how to sew the buttons in details thank you for watching I hope you understood all the steps I was trying to clarify and this is the final result of the blanket or of the pocket blanket for your baby thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like see you on the next video bye bye